Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be showing you pre CSS, which is really for individuals who aren't quite ready to give up their SAS syntax but are ready to give up SAS. Let's say you want to take advantage of all of the packages in post CSS and you don't want to use SAS, but there's some things you're not quite ready to let go of, like uh, the variable syntax, nested selectors, mixins, that kind of thing. So pre CSS allows you to use a lot of that syntax within your actual CSS files. So let's get going on that right now. So let's say the CSS Next syntax wasn't doing it for you and you don't feel like using multiple processors uh, including SAS and post CSS and you want to still take advantage of the, the additional packages that comes with post CSS. Well, you can actually use this package called pre CSS, which allows for uh, essentially SAS syntax with CSS files. So let's check this out. We can go ahead and install pre CSS and then check out some of these features. So let's go ahead and do that simply by typing in in our command line. Uh, let's cancel this. Um, we have npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev pre CSS. So this is sort of a preprocessor style syntax for post CSS. Now we can go ahead and come to our gulp file and let's go ahead and add it in here. Now we can leave CSS next if we'd like and just duplicate this line. And let's just say pre CSS like so. And now we can go ahead and add pre CSS to one of our processors. Now I'm going to add this first because it's going to compute some of the uh, some of the syntaxy stuff first that way uh, before auto prefix or CSS next runs it takes care of some things for us so we can do pre CSS and again I'm going to leave these uh, curly brackets where our options would go if we were using any sort of options now let's go ahead and run our gulp watch command and let's come to our CSS and let's use some SAS syntax. For example, let's just do some nested anything here. We could do H1 inside of here, and let's do, let's just do color equals blue, like so. Now let's check out our CSS. You can see even though we're working with a .css file, we're not using SAS, it still was able to compile this nested element property. And in fact, we can use these SAS style variables where we could say, uh, this is our primary color and it's going to be equal to let's say just green now we can go ahead and simply just use that primary variable just like you'd be used to in SAS and you can see that it of course compiles to green so what's great about this is just about how similar to SAS it is. If you're used to working in SAS a whole lot and that syntax is sort of ingrained into your brain and how you do things, uh, it's really not a bad choice to go ahead and use pre-CSS. Now some of these uh, syntaxy things are a little bit different. We have conditionals, we have loops, we have mixins, but you'll notice a mixin needs to be defined with this at define hyphen mixin instead of just what you might be used to with mixin. And then of course you can use it now with at mixin. So these things are just a little bit different, but it really allows you to use a lot of the things that you'd be used to in SAS with just plain old CSS. So let's actually try to do a mixin so we can come to our pre-compiled CSS. And let's make a mixin. We can say define mixin. Now we're going to give this mixin a name. Let's just say this is going to be hello. And this is simply just going to output a margin of zero and auto, like so. Now we can then use this mixin, let's just say, in a section tag. And we can go ahead and say at mixin hello save this and you'll see that this body section is in fact getting the margin zero auto so things are just a hair different in some respects but it does allow you to use this nice variable syntax within your css instead of using the 
uh, next CSS syntax with this uh, colon root and the double hyphens if you're not a fan of that. So if you would like to abandon SAS but not totally abandon SAS, pre-CSS with post-CSS is for you. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.